Hi, I'm Sheila Aberbuck from Space Kids Books, and we're here today with another social media how-to video. Just a quick overview of Pinterest for you. If you're not familiar with it, it is a virtual scrapbooking website. It's a really good way to share and discover images that are inspiring that you can collect into virtual pin boards that you can share with others. It can also be a good way if you happen to have any merchandise that you sell in connection with your work writing or illustrating uh, children's books because Pinterest is very much an online marketplace where people do like to buy things, especially um, giftware, uh, jewelry, um, anything to do with home decor. Just come to Pinterest.com and click to sign up with Facebook or sign up with email. Once you've filled in these fields, you will have to go back to your email to um, your inbox to confirm that you want to join Pinterest. The uh, way that you would use it is to um, click either in the upper right hand corner or in the upper left hand corner. The upper right hand corner where you see the cross will allow you to upload a pin also known as an image from your own computer. You can click here to enter a website address and it will scan that website for images that you might want to pin onto your board or you can go down here and create your own your own virtual pin board. I created one the other day called uh, Inspiration Mars. Do fill in these uh, fields in detail. So let's say you wanted to create a board called Dragons. Um, you know, dragon images, dragon illustrations. You would choose a category and then you can even choose if you would like this to be a private board. So is, should this be a secret board or a board that anybody can see? And then click to create the board. So that's the upper right hand corner. In the upper left hand corner, you will see uh, the simple search uh, tool that you would be that you would recognize from other websites. Let's search what we have on dragons here. It's just a nice way to, to get visual inspiration and see at a glance what's out there. If you like any of this stuff, you can see in the upper left hand corner where it says pins, boards, and pinners. These are just different views of the search results for dragons. So pins are individual images. But if I click on the next tab, I'll see pin boards that have already been created that, that grab um, dragon images that you might want to follow. The third tab here is pinners, showing you peep, a pinner is a person, showing you people who are um, pinning uh, things to do with dragons. I am aware that there are some writers out there who do have merchandise. I got the chance to meet Garth Nix when he attended the Edinburgh International Book Festival last year and he showed these gorgeous little uh, silver bells that he got a, uh, a silversmith to create in line with his Old Kingdom trilogy. And these are hugely possible. They are for sale here on his online shop. Similarly, um, uh, Nicola Morgan has a lovely online shop selling her books, but also these, like these tea towels, which Nicola says have been so successful. This is the kind of thing that would be ideal to share on Pinterest because people who go there are very much in a buying mindset. Um, if you are thinking of sharing images on Pinterest for products that you sell on your website, do include the pricing information because research has shown that pins or images on Pinterest that include pricing information are actually more likely to get people to, um, to click through and purchase. There has been a really good guest blog recently on Jane Friedman's blog about other ideas for how writers can use Pinterest and I will include a link to that um, from this blog but here's a quick one I wanted to show you which is how the writer um, uh, Lucinda uh, Brandt creates pin boards which are inspiration showing pin boards dedicated to her individual uh, novels showing um, images and descriptions of how the um, this image relates to her novel. So she says, see the door cut into the beautifully painted paneling? This is how the servants move around the Hotel Roxton. Um, and this is uh, a setting um, and people from her, her book Midnight Marriage. Uh, Pinterest has a lot of stuff you can discover about it, um, but I think that's all we'll try to cover today. I hope I've given you a general overview of, of it, what it might be able to do for you as a children's book writer or illustrator. If you enjoyed this social media how-to video, you can see more every month on Words and Pictures. Thank you.